Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you've ever clicked on. Today's video should be a reasonably quick one. I'm actually hoping to get this filmed and edited today, which is Saturday, and upload it tonight and upload a second video tomorrow. I usually upload on Sundays. This week Gucci released some new products and I had some birthday money and these things very happily coincided. Usually on my channel I'd be talking you through my sort of purchasing decisions because the thrust of what I talk about for the most part is trying to use what I have, buy a little bit less, be more conscious with my purchasing decisions when I do decide to buy etc. But I'm going to save all that chat for future videos so if that sounds interesting please do hit subscribe but what I thought would be useful because there was no sort of previews or hints or sneak peeks of this collection as far as I could see was to do some videos on those products so this is going to be the first video which will be about the lipstick that they have launched and hopefully tomorrow all going to plan there'll be a video about the eyeshadow palette so let's get on into talking about the new lipstick <laughs> The new lipstick that came as part of this gorgeous florals collection I ordered directly from Gucci so it came in this little drawstring bag. I do usually quite like these pouches and the one that I got for the eyeshadow is a bit more practical. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with one that small. I do feel that the, the actual casing of these is pretty robust so I don't feel like I would want to put it in that pouch just because I was taking it out and about for the day. Like I'm not worried in my experience of other Gucci products that I own about the sort of motifs on the casing flaking off or anything as they might with like that's happened with my ABH liquid lipsticks or like Colourpop products I think are pretty famous for it when it rubs off like I'm not worried about that happening with the Gucci lipstick but this is the outer box for the lipstick their Rouge de Beauté Brilliant eh, formula which if you can see down at the bottom on this box so it says it's Glow and Care Lip Colour. This colour is limited edition. So obviously this is not a review video, it's just me unboxing it, sharing it with you, swatching it, giving you some comparisons, kind of trying to put it in context to help you if you are thinking about buying it. In terms of doing that, I have one other Gucci lipstick in this Brilliant formula and then the new shade that they have released or the new limited edition lipstick that they have released is actually an existing shade. It is the shade they met in Argentina and um, which I have in the matte formula as well. So these are the sort of three lipsticks that I'm going to be or these are the two lipsticks that I'm going to be putting the new lipstick kind of in comparison with and using my knowledge of these formulas and these products to tell you what I suspect will turn out to be the case about this one. But Obviously, disclaimer at the start, I've literally just got this and even within having two things in the same formula there can be discrepancies across shades so what I'm going to say is not necessarily 100% accurate but it's my sort of best informed guesses of how things will wear. On that note, let's get it out of the box and this is the packaging so I'll obviously give you some close-ups. It is so beautiful and I will fully disclaim I've been on a beauty no buy since 2018 basically with the exception of last year when I was on a low buy and I am allowed to buy replacements so the only times that I've been buying beauty products have been if I've been shopping on holiday which is permitted within my no buy or if I've had like birthday or Christmas money which I let myself spend freely which is where the money for this came from but I was completely and utterly won over by the packaging. That That is what is special about this collection and I think it's important to acknowledge that like you're buying it because it's Gucci and because of the packaging there is never a need to pay this kind of money for makeup. This kind of formula because it is glowy. The girl in Gucci at Harrods in Edinburgh actually called this a lip gloss in a stick. I'm sure they will probably release actual lip glosses at some point. I really really appreciate actually as a brand the way that Gucci is very slowly increasing their beauty offerings rather than launching with everything. I really like that sort of slow release and everything feels really considered. 
um, and that in itself may well be a marketing ploy to make me think that everything feels really considered um, but I do really really like it, it really sort of fits with uh, the way that I want to be shopping which is that I don't want to be overwhelmed with choice and I do want to think that everything um, has been considered and thought through before it's been offered to me and that then you know it mirrors that I want to consider and think it through before I would bring it into my collection. So I'm sure although they don't do lip glosses at the moment there probably will be an actual lip gloss line further down the road. For the meantime that seems to be what the sales assistants are almost and um, kind of selling this as it's like lip gloss in a stick. I would say it's a bit more robust than lip gloss but it's certainly a very sort of glossy light formula. However, the first thing that I wanted to do was to show you a swatch of this in comparison with this, which is the existing lipstick that I own in this formula. So this is the shade 308 Lucy Dark Orange. Absolutely adore this shade. It's just, it's one of my favourite things in my makeup collection at the moment. And I think it's quite easy to think if it's a glossy formula that there's not going to be a lot of pigment there but actually they are very very different when swatched so I will insert now the cutaways of these two swatched next to each other so that you can see there is pigment although it's a glossy formula you are definitely getting colour payoff. And what I'll also do is insert footage of me wearing this lipstick and then footage of me wearing this lipstick so that you can see how those swatches transfer onto the lips. So I am going to apply Lucy Dark Orange so that you can see that on the lips. That is Lucy Dark Orange. It's, it's definitely different to the Met in Argentina in the same formula. And this is the Met in Argentina in the Brilliant formula going onto my lips. So I think you can see when they're on the lips, um, you know, although Lucy Dark Orange is an orange and this is definitely like a peachy coral and I feel like if you like one you will probably like the other because I think they are kind of related um, in that sense but they are very much different shades even in that more glossy formula so I am very happy to own both. To compare in the other direction, I also own this, which is the Met in Argentina in the original matte formula. So that is, I believe, the only other formula that this shade is currently available in. I will put up swatches of the matte one next to the new, the brilliant formula. And again, you'll be able to see, although it's the same shade name, and you can see how they're related, they're very, very different. So the matte one is actually what I've got on my lips to start this video off and I took some footage of me applying that so I will insert that so that you can see it's swatched and then you can also see my lip colour with nothing on it then this applying over the top. They're so pigmented but so lightweight these lipsticks. It's a really really beautiful matte formula if you are considering they met in Argentina in the original formula. And then 
again, I will insert the footage of me wearing this lipstick on my lips so that you can see how the two compare. So this is the Met in Argentina in the Brilliant formula on my lips. So again, in comparison to the matte formula, as you would expect, it's a much softer look. But I do think, in absolute fairness, the matte formula from Gucci, it doesn't sink into fine lines. It's really, really soft. Um, it's long wearing, but it's not super drying. It's a really, really comfortable matte formula. Um, so I do think even on maybe like drier lips or more aging lips, it's a very, very forgiving matte formula. Um, but this is obviously maybe it's got more slip to it, it's got more give to it. Um, it's a bit more relaxed in terms of uh, being like maybe more of a sort of spring summer lip if you're looking for that sort of carefree, easy, on the go sort of lip. Um, you know, this is it more than the matte version. Um, and again, there is a huge colour difference. They are definitely, you know, when you look at the two on side by side, um, you know, they're not the same colour. It, you could absolutely own both with no complaints whatsoever. So to put this colour into context, within my collection I don't have any direct dupes of this to recommend to you if you don't want the Gucci one. Um, obviously I wouldn't want to have dupes of it within my own collection, but I do have lipsticks that are related to the matte formula. So I'm going to talk you through them so that you can see if you have any of these in your collection or if you have experience with these and it just helps maybe put it into context for you. So the closest lipstick I would say I have is MAC Stay Curious, um, which is one of their powder kiss lipsticks. So that is it, I would say is the closest shade that I have. It's not the same. I'm definitely happy to own both, but they're very much related. Also from MAC, but limited edition, is this shade on a petal still. Um, so this was from the Tempting Fate collection. So you can see that one there. Obviously, I'll give you close-ups of these. Then from Charlotte Tilbury, I've got Pillow Talk, which is, again, not the same, but I think it sits in the same family of sort of rosy, easy-to-wear nudes. So I think if you like Pillow Talk, although, again, so that's Pillow Talk, that's the Met in Argentina, not the same, but I think if you like the Pillow Talk colour family, they met in Argentina is probably quite up your street. The last comparison that I'm going to make uh, for the matte lipstick is Pat McGrath Fever Dream, which is one of my favourite lipsticks actually, but it's a little bit deeper. So let me give you this as a close up. So this is the Met in Argentina in the Brilliant Formula, the Met in Argentina Matte, MAC Stay Curious, MAC On a Petal Still, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and Pat McGrath Fever Dream. So you can see that this is very much a colour family, but I don't have anything that directly dupes this shade, which I think is quite interesting because in a way, I think at first glance, it's quite easy to think that this is a sort of very basic shade, you know, like pill talk, for example, how sort of ubiquitous is pill talk with Charlotte Tilbury and almost like NARS orgasm, you know, th th there's a reason that those shades are the sort of hero shades is because they suit a lot of people and and sometimes that can kind of translate as also meaning th they are a little bit basic and they're maybe not the most interesting of shade and I would say they met in Argentina is probably that sort of shade for Gucci um, but it's not actually as dupable as the connotations of being that kind of shade would maybe make you think, if that's if that makes sense. And then in terms of the Met in Argentina and the Brilliant formula, I really don't have any direct dupes for that. As I was saying, the sales assistant at the Gucci beauty counter in Harrods in Edinburgh actually referred to this as lip gloss. And I would say lip glosses are the closest colour match that I have to this. And the three that I'm going to kind of put on to show you are all from Charlotte Tilbury. Now I would say the closest thing that I have overall is this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Peachy Plump. I think this is the Collagen Lip Bath. So the Collagen Lip Bath has actually got glitter in it and although 
the lipstick from Gucci is shiny and glowy it's not glittery in the same sense so they're not exact dupes I'm definitely not saying that but this is the closest product that I could find in my collection to the Met in Argentina in the Brilliant formula and then because I put the Pillow Talk lipstick up I thought I've got that same product the Collagen Lip Bath in Pillow Talk which I'll just give you a swatch of Again, just to put it into comparison. So Pillow Talk is, doesn't have the glitter that the Peachy Plump Collagen Lip Bath does. So in that sense, it's actually maybe a little bit closer, but I would say they met in Argentina, like the Brilliant formula is much more peachy, um, much more sort of peachy coral, whereas I feel like swatch-wise, they met in Argentina matte goes more rosewood. The last thing that I'm going to put on is a swatch of Charlotte Tilbury so this is pillow talk again but this is the lip jewels so the one with the sort of glittery cap so you can really see the kind of difference here as you walk so you've got your lipsticks they met in Argentina matte they met in Argentina brilliant formula then this is Charlotte Tilbury peachy plump collagen lip bath which I would say is the closest direct thing but it's got the glitter in it then you've got the collagen lip bath in pillow talk which i would say is getting further away then the pillow talk lip jewels is actually getting a little bit closer again and um, but i would say the, the basic shade of the peachy plump is closer as an undertone both of these have glitter in them and although this is glowy and shimmery it's not got glitter particles the way that these two lip glosses do. So that close up there is just was over by the window. Just come over to the back of the room just to show you in a little bit duller lighting. And um, it's still bright outside, but obviously over by the window versus here just gives you that slight comparison. So now that we've done the swatches, the colour comparison, um, I thought I would just give you some just general thoughts and my experience more based on owning this shade in this formula for a little longer, knowing it better. So as I said at the start of the video, obviously I've only just got this, so I don't know that everything that I would say about this particular colour in this formula will, will be applicable because even within formula families sometimes a different shade performs slightly differently but I feel like they feel very very similar um, when I've been using them and swatching them today for the video so I feel quite confident to say that they will act the same. What I love about this is that when it wears off it does so really quite evenly. You don't get left with that sort of ring around the outside of your mouth that you sometimes do with lip glosses or lipsticks so that's partly why I am such a big fan of this. One of my concerns about this when I first bought it is that I thought it was going to be super melty and you can actually kind of see in the cutaways that I took of this when it was brand new and um, it has this sort of line uh, which was down the front actually and now that I've started using it it is at the back which is the same on Lucy Dark Orange. There's almost like sort of a wet looking patch as if the back kind of catches on the casing um, and it is a very wet glossy formula however it's not been melty the way that I suspected it would be. We've had a heat wave here in the UK and you know Lucy Dark Orange is very much still intact as you can see and um, like it is soft and smooshy but it's not you know the tiniest bit of pressure and it's falling apart the way that the fresh lip balms if you've ever had any of them I feel like they are so so melty I really like them as lip balms but I feel like you need to keep them in the fridge um, because they just smoosh down and they make a mess and that as you can see from Lucy Dark Orange here hasn't happened you know my bullet is not a mess um, you know the top of it's not catching mess and dragging it down and making a mess at the bottom that I don't quite know how they've done it because I feel like the formula is so sort of glossy it feels like it should be melty that was my main concern that's why I only own one of these is because I love this colour so much but I really was concerned I thought it was going to be a complete waste of money I thought most of it would melt away or smoosh away that I would end up wiping more off the side of the tube than I would actually get to use on my lips and that has not been the case with this at all so I feel quite confident that it also won't be the case with this colour 
in that formula. The other thing as well that I thought because this is a glossy formula is that I thought I would use it really really quickly but I feel I've had a lot of use out of this lipstick and I did try and kind of take a cut away to show you like when this is wound down within the tube how much I've actually used and I don't it doesn't look like I've used a lot at all and um, you know it's going down really really slowly even though I would say so you can do one swipe and get a very sort of neutral colour that's just a little bit of a glow to the lips but I do build it up and get the colour off of them. So I feel like I thought I would be rushing through this product, that was another sort of thing that slightly put me off this formula when I first got it, is I thought I would finish it really really quickly and that again hasn't been the case. Although I do think it's worth noting that this one is slightly more expensive, I think this was £34 or £36 and this one was 34 They are expensive because they're, they're Gucci, it is what it is. But they are basically the same price as the other lipsticks in all the other formulas. And you get 3.5 grams of product in all the other formulas in the matte, the satin and the voile. You get 1.8 grams of product in this formula. So you are getting just over half the lipstick and paying the same price. But as I said, I thought I would be racing through this and I feel like I've been using this one so so much and that doesn't seem to be the case so I don't really know what witchcraft is at play there but there is witchcraft at play and yeah I think that is everything that I kind of thought would be useful to you swatches comparisons my thoughts on the formula I do really like it I'm really happy that I've got it it's not something that I think is duped easily within my existing collection obviously you'll need to kind of look at the swatches and apply it to your own collection you may well own something really similar but for me, I think this sort of glossier lip is something I'd always stayed away from and part of that is because I think I've got quite small lips. I've also got quite awkwardly shaped lips where if I don't take my lipsticks to the edge of my mouth then when I'm speaking it's obvious I haven't taken it to the edge of my mouth which if you actually watched my last video which was my beauty rehab check-in um, that really annoyed me when I was editing that video because you could see that I hadn't taken the lipstick that I was wearing into the corners of my mouth but when my mouth is at rest, this my top lip sort of tucks and rests on top of my bottom lip, if that makes any sense. But it means if I've got product at the corners, that if it's too thick or gloopy, it almost gets pushed out and then becomes a mess around the side of my mouth. And that hasn't happened with this, which is another kind of, although it's a glossy formula, it's not a really thick, gloopy, glossy formula. Um, so this is quite a new thing for me getting into this kind of formula because of the shape of my mouth. I've always felt safer with the sort of thin matte formulas that once they're on stay in place. But I don't worry about this, although it's a glossy formula, I don't worry about it migrating all over my face um, and I don't worry about it pushing out at the corners of my mouth and making a mess when my mouth is at rest. So it is quite a new thing for me and it's quite an individual thing within my collection. So. I feel like it's been a good purchase for me. I think it's completely different to the they met in Argentina matte lipstick as well, so I'm not worried about it being duplicated in that kind of way. And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I do think it's just worth saying, as I said, nobody needs to pay Gucci prices for makeup. There is great makeup at all price points on the market. Um, there will be, especially with these glossier lips, they are more akin to the lip gloss in terms of my experience as I showed you in the comparison swatches and you can definitely get lip glosses. If you could match the colour of this to a lip gloss, which I'm sure will exist somewhere, you can definitely get it at a lower price point. So there is no need to pay for it. It's not doing anything that is super wonderful or super individual or super groundbreaking to the point that it's worth the price. You are paying the price because it's Gucci, because the packaging is beautiful. But for me, I want to move towards having less things but having everything that I love be absolutely beautiful. And sometimes that is just a case of saying, do you know what, the packaging in this makes me so happy every time I look at it. Like when I took the cutaways and I had it, um, so I've got this sort of uh, antique, it's from 1935, can we call 1935 antique? It's maybe not antique, but vintage old bureau. Um, and that's when I had it last night when I was unboxing it and I just think it fits my aesthetic so so well. I absolutely love everything about it and that to me as a whole package 
including the packaging, the design and the actual product has been a worthwhile purchase for me and I'm going to really enjoy using it. For me, I would rather have a couple of Gucci lipsticks that I absolutely adore every time I look at them than have 20 lipsticks from, you know, Colourpop or whatever. I do have Colourpop lipsticks, so that's absolutely not me throwing, you know, shade or saying that anything is better. What I'm trying to say is if you're only focused on the usage and the formula, there's no need to pay for the Gucci one because that's the Colourpop stuff or whatever your brand is just as good once it's on my face. When you're out and about, nobody knows that your lipstick's Gucci, you know, they just know the colour. So it's, it is about you knowing and it's about you handling that package when you apply your lipstick and how you feel when you look at that. And for some of you, that's going to be worth paying a Gucci price for. And for me, I love that I own that now and it, it is going to make me really, really happy, but it's not a necessity. And that is just what I'd like to end this video on is Gucci makeup, beautiful, love this lipstick, really happy I own it. I'm about to go film swatches of the palette and I have the other, the first Gucci palette as well. So I'm going to compare the two, but I feel like regardless of how beautiful it is, none of it's a necessity and that's just what I'd like to end this. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful if you were uh, interested in that particular lipstick or any of those three particular lipsticks I suppose that we sort of focused on from Gucci Beauty today and yeah as I say tomorrow should hopefully fingers crossed if my neighbour stops hammering he's been hammering on and off most of the morning um, but he seems to have taken a break so hopefully he stays broken that sounds terrible hopefully he stays on his break that's what I was trying to say there um, and I can get my eyeshadow video filmed for you so that should hopefully be up tomorrow so I will see you in that one bye